Hello. Uh, we're here in uh, Birmingham, Alabama. It's May 2012. And a major story in newspapers all over the country, in fact globally, has to do with the behavior of CEOs on the job. Uh, from uh, Rupert Murdoch of News Corp, uh, from Jamie Dimon of J.P. Morgan Chase. Uh, in fact, there have been questions about whether Rupert Murdoch is fit to be CEO of News Corp. And I'd like to take a, a, a moment to ask that same question about Ted Rollins, the CEO of Campus Crest Communities, a, a Charlotte-based company here uh, in the States, and, uh, and to see, is this man fit to be CEO? Now, we've written a lot about Mr. Rollins and a divorce case here in Alabama that he brought against his ex-wife. It couldn't be brought here because it was already being litigated in South Carolina. So we, we've seen signs of abusive actions from him in court. But I want to look at abusive actions he's taken toward another human being. And in this case, it's uh, his former stepson, Zach Parrish, uh, who in 1995, Mr. Rollins beat severely. Uh, Mr. Parrish was about 16 years old at the time. And I think we need to look at that event and ask, should Ted Rollins be the CEO of Campus Crest Communities or any other company? And I'd like to look at a couple of issues related to this. One is a document that we've written about. It's from North Carolina, and I'm pointing my finger. You can see it's been, somebody has written out something there, has scratched it out, and what that is, you may not be able to see it on camera, but I can see that it's a reference to the fact that Zach Parrish was hospitalized uh, after this beating. Uh, and that raises the question, who marked that out? Because hospitalization of an assault victim is a key factor uh, in North Carolina between an assault that might just draw a fine or probation in an assault that can put you in jail. And uh, there's no question that Zach Parrish was hospitalized. His mother, Sherry Rollins, who is Ted's former wife, she now is a Birmingham resident, she has told us in tape-recorded interviews that her son was taken to the emergency room via ambulance. So that's a question there. Who, who marked this out on, on behalf of Ted Rollins? Uh, the other question is, how, how badly was Zach Parrish hurt? Uh, again, the extent of injury is a key factor under assault law in North Carolina. Uh, and again, we see on this, uh, it's hard to read, it's very uh, not well written, but it appears to be a reference to shock here. And we're not sure if that's a reference to physical shock, that uh, Mr. Parrish was uh, in danger of going into shock, but we do know that Sherry Rollins has told us that he was administered oxygen uh, in an ambulance on the way to the hospital. Uh, my research indicates that oxygen often is administered on patients who look like they might be going into shock. And that particularly can happen when there's been uh, blood loss. And, and Ms. Rollins has stated that her son was bleeding profusely from the beating that Ted Rollins gave. The key point I'd like to ask here, did Ted Rollins almost beat his stepson to death? Uh, Zach Parrish is now 33 years old. He lives here in Birmingham. He's, a, he's in the construction business. Uh, but was he almost beaten to death? When, uh, If you do some research, and I have on, online, uh, shock can be a very serious matter. Uh, a person can die from going into shock. And we do know that he was administered oxygen, and that, that's a sign that the blood loss is severe enough and that, that he, he could have been at risk of going into shock. As we, as we look at where Ted Rollins is today, his company has completed a $380 million IPO on Wall Street. They have a $55 million preferred stock offering that appears to have either been completed or in the works. So you're talking over $400 million of investment investors' money has gone to this company. And a big question is, have these investors and the people who put this IPO together, have they done due diligence on Mr. Rollins? Do they know what's in his background? Um, that's the kind of scrutiny that is being directed at some CEOs, and it should be directed at Ted Rollins. Uh, again, the, the question is, did he almost beat his stepson to death, and did someone take steps to help him get away with what was a very serious assault? It, it was under North Carolina law, was a case of child abuse, it was a case of domestic violence, and he, he got off with probation and a small fine. Uh, we'll continue to, to look at this story. There are other issues that we'll be looking at regarding Mr. Rollins. Thank you very much.